I'm Landy, and I love taking care of the sourdough starter because it's so easy and fun for kids to do. Today, I'm going to show you a complete guide on how to make sourdough bread. It's going to be delicious. And it's cool because you don't have to really get the measurements right or the anything. It just has to be the right consistency. And if you like to ferment it longer, that's okay. Shorter, that's okay. It's really just a hang around, you know, good, easy bread. So, I'll show you how to make that. So, we, our sourdough, we had our sourdough starter and we took one cup out and put it in the bowl and added flour and water and fed it. And then we put it back in another jar that's clean and fresh so it can grow again. But then what was left in the other jar was a little bit left sourdough starter. What, we, what do we do with that? People call that discard because usually you just throw it away. But what you can do with it is that's what we make stuff out of. So if you're always throwing away your discard, then you ha don't, don't really have the sour star for anything. So every day when I feed my starter, I get discard. Sometimes I make pancakes or pies or something like that. But um, you can also make bread. Now I will warn you, the first seven days of your sour to starter, when you're discarding it, you can't make anything with the discard except for like pancakes. But after that, you can make pies, biscuits, bread, whatever you want with the discard. And um, and bread only takes a half cup of um, sourdough discard. So we are going to make that bread, and it is going to be so delicious. Let's get into it. The first thing you want to do when making your sourdough bread is putting the half cup of sourdough starter into the bowl. Then we just add a, a cup, maybe a little bit less, of warm water. Now it has to be warm water. I'm gonna mix that up with one of these things. So things can in handy. Three cups of flour. And just start doing this. I would start with two, and then if it's still a little bit squishy, go to three. Sometimes I even do a little bit over three, but I would still start with two. And then I just start doing this. This here is about two. But then you just start doing this and mix it all together, and then we can knead it. So this here is two cups. It's working pretty good. It kind of kneaded itself into a ball as I started doing this. I think this particular bread, even though it feels pretty good, we might need to add about a half a cup more. Okay, perfect. See how it's like kind of droopy and it's kind of moist, but I can still pick it up without um, getting it so sticky. And um, if some people say that if it over ferments, um, you know, what it, what it is and stuff, but I think it's just lack of enough flour or a little too much flour. So you just got to do a little bit more flour than water and sourdough, and your sourdough should not over-ferment because people have it for a while. And when it does over-ferment, you just keep on going, figure out the right amount of flour, and get it going, and your sourdough shouldn't be sticky, too sticky. So with the bread, we're just going to kind of keep kneading it, getting the flour incorporated, and then we're going to start actually kneading it, stretching it, and do the test. Okay, I've been kneading it for a while, and it's time for the test. So for the test, you're just going to grab it like this, just completely relax, and see if it just slowly drops down. If it does, it has enough um, weight on it. So that's good. Um... And then the next part of the test is you just got to make sure you can knead it, squish it in your fingers, and make your fingers come out of it without getting stuck. Also knead it for a while, for a few seconds, more like. And then if your fingers don't have much on it, it's pretty good. The next thing is to grab it somewhere and pull it, and if it stretches, it starts to break a little bit, but if it pretty much stretches, then that means it's good. Right here, it's sticking a little bit. I would add a little bit more flour. And if it doesn't stretch quite 
good. Like this doesn't stretch as good. Um, then, then you just need to add, um, just just keep kneading it. And if it doesn't have any weight, if it just kind of holds in your hand, you're gonna need a little bit more water. If if you can clearly knead it like this, it's a little sticky. You might need um, a little bit more water if it's a little sticky. So you just do these three tests to see what your starter needs and get it into the right thing. If it's not stretchy, I would just give it some time, fulfill the other uh, test, and then get, keep kneading it until it gets stretchy. And there you go. Alrighty, after that we just add the salt. Oop, that's pepper. I accidentally got a little bit of pepper in the bread, but that's okay. There's just a little. Anyways, we add the salt. Whoa. Okay, I ended up putting a little too much salt, but um, I got it out, I think. Anyways, I uh, need that salt in, and we'll go to the next step. Okay, our bread is very good and nice, and it looks delicious. So we're going to cover it with a um, rag, and da-da. A cloth, not a rag. Okay, so the way that sourdough bread typically works for me is if I do it in the morning, later that night, I will um, get it, roll, uh, kind of roll it, get it together a little bit more without deflating it that's kind of a hard part um, and then I will put it that night I will put it um, in a bowl with a cloth underneath it with some flour on top and then put another cloth over the top so that it when I take it to bake it I can just plop it out and I don't have to worry about it um, sticking so um, then the next morning I can take it out and bake it. Or you could start it the, at night and then the next morning let it go for its second rise and do the thing with the rag underneath and all that. And then three hours later you could bake it. If you do it in the morning, that's for people who like it a little bit more sour. It actually tastes pretty good. It's a like good sour. Pretty good. Um, but people at night, it just kind of tastes like a typical bread, doesn't have much flavor. I mean, if you have butter or something with it, it might be nice. Um, I like to have it with butter and salt. But anyways, those are just the two schedules that I like with my sourdough. I'm going with the one where you started in the morning this time. But, um, and I did that with a, a different loaf, yes, loaf yesterday morning. And I'll show you that one um, because last night... I, well, actually this morning because I didn't do it on time. But anyways, pretend last night I put the rag under it and all that. And so then we will, um, I'll show you the, that bread. All right, hi, it's Sunday morning. And <clears throat> yesterday night, the day I um, started the startup, I, took the bread and um, kind of folded it together and got it a little tight and then I put a cloth underneath and I put it in and put flour on it and then I put it in and put a cloth over the top and I let that sit and now this morning I got it out and I flipped it over and hopefully you felt floured it enough and pulled the cloth off and then there is your bread in an oiled pan, not too much oil, not enough oil, um, just the perfect amount of oil in like a, I'll show you the pan. Um, anyways, and now we're going to bake it. Okie doke, here's my bread. Uh, and don't get discouraged if it um, pulls off a little bit, that's okay. It's all nice and good, and the first time I did it, it was not nice and good. So, um, you kind of got to pull it off, <laughs> but 
uh, the main trick is to kind of flower the cloth a little bit. Just remember how we like to We're going to set the oven to 400, cook for 20 minutes with the lid on, and um, 20 minutes with the lid off. And then you'll have the perfect sourdough bread.